okay. Okay. All right. And we're rolling. Hello, everybody. This is a little awkward. You should have like <laughs> I didn't think it would show. <laughs> you Hi. Change your pants. <laughs> no, it's it's my house pants. It's not my okay. pajamas. It's okay. It's it's quarantine. It's fine. So today, oh, don't kick it. Oh, like, sorry. Just be careful okay. not to kick it. Okay. So today, I'm gonna be cutting my mom's hair. Obviously, you saw from the title. And uh, also she's gonna be answering a few questions. Unfortunately, I asked for the questions a little too last minute, so there's only a few questions, but that's okay. And Paula is here to assist with that, although she wants to escape as soon as possible. And <laughs> that's okay. I got stuff to do. <laughs> so this is her before hair. It's long. Okay, let's turn it around. Well, you do have some layers, because I gave you layers, yeah. right? I need back of my hair, back of front. Your hair. So what do you want exactly? Tell me what you want. What what do you, do? you know what I want. I know, but they don't know. They don't know. Yeah. Okay, I, here it's too bad. And you have to cut Layer. Uh, four uh, fingers You want first. me to cut four fingers of your length? Yes, yes. That's look a at lot. this. It's not a lot. Oh, because it, it's burned. It look, look, burned. look. Okay. It's just wow. like this. Okay, and so you brush. Oh, okay, like this. Okay, that's yeah. okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah. And, it, and it's layers. gonna be layer, of course. It's not just cutting and yes. that's all. It's a bit, you know. So um, volume. I need more volume. Yeah. yeah. And you have curly hair, so you need more yeah. volume. Yeah. Obviously I'm not a hairstylist and I don't have a professional education, but I do have an internet education. I, mean, I, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> But I also have some experience cutting hair. If you are interested, I have like an Instagram where I showed when I cut people's hair. So I'll put that here if you want to follow that Instagram. But today I thought it would be nice to cut it on camera. Also because a lot of people were wanting to see you in my videos again. Because people Me? really like you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much people. I love you too. Also, I wanted to do this on camera because I know a lot of you in quarantine maybe will be tempted to cut your own hair or like each other's hair. Even though I'm not a professional, I guess I can show kind of like yes. a few easy techniques of how to cut hair without ruining it completely. Dress uh, hair well. so it's closed or not. Yeah. All the yeah. hairdressers. Dressers. Yeah, they're all closed. They're closed, yeah. of course. You guys are lucky. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. But I decided to trim my hair when the quarantine is over. What? Yeah. Why? It's like quarantine, quarantine length. It's gonna be quarantine length. Okay, please change your mind in the comments. I can give you some like a touch up, like shape, a little bit of shape. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Convince her. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. it's a bit unkempt. So as we're talking, her hair is already drying. So what I have here for tools are a little hair spray bottle, a few combs, and also some hair cutting scissors, which is really important. These are the ones that I use, and I got them off Amazon. They weren't too expensive, but too cheap either, because I bought a few cheap ones and they were so bad that I wasted my money on them. I got them at the drugstore and I had to, I, I can't even use them, they don't cut well. So yeah, let's get started. Paula is getting angsty. <laughs> so do you want me to ask the questions? Let me cut the back of her hair first a little okay. bit. And then when I'm starting to do the layering, we'll ask the question so you can go now. Okay. See ya, Paula. See ya. She'll be, she'll be back. Okay, so let's start with the back. So it's important to get your hair nice and wet. And I know some hairstylists cut your hair dry, but I feel like if you're not a professional, cutting it dry is like more risky. Whether it's curly or straight, you should probably get it wet before you cut your hair. So I'm just putting some leave-in conditioner to help me I brush through her hair. This is Shea Moisture. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. I also featured it in my hair care routine video, which if you haven't watched, I will put it in the description. If we weren't in front of camera, I could gossip. Now I have to shut up. Why? You can <laughs> gossip about what? About who? No, 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 no. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is like separate the front of the hair from the back of the hair. So what you can do for that is you just go from the top of the head down to the back of the ear 
That separates the front from the back. And we're gonna start with the back of the hair. So I'll do the same on the other side. You can do this on yourself too, by the way. No way. I mean, it's more difficult, no but I do it on myself all the time. No, it's impossible. <laughs> really? I, I'm sure of that. It's I feel impossible. like it's possible. I've, I've no, done it to it's myself. it's impossible. The back, yeah, the I guess. front, no way. It's better if a friend does it for you. But I yeah. feel like if you're in quarantine alone, you can kind of manage. Your hair. <laughs> if you're brave. No, no, okay. I'm not that brave. I trust you because you you cut how I, many times? I have experience. Yeah, maybe ten times, more than ten times, more than ten times. Your hair is so long. This is what happens with yeah, curly I, hair. I'm telling you, it's long. It's long. You you don't yeah. believe me. It's I don't long. believe you because it's curly. I'm telling four fingers minimum. Okay. It's gonna be beautiful, promise. So the kind of haircut I want to do is layered, but with every haircut you want to start with a strong base. So I'm gonna start with doing the perimeter of the hair, which is like just giving it a straight cut first, and then we layer. This is just like a little trim. So you want to comb it straight down, and she wants four fingers off. This is not how a professional cuts hair, by the way, but I'm just, you know, this is an easy way. If you have thick hair, you want to definitely section it first, meaning like you put the top of your hair up and then do the bottom and then do the rest of the hair, but whatever. This is an at-home quarantine style haircut. <laughs> but you have pretty like fine hair, so it's fine. When I go to professional, it's the same what you are doing. That's okay for Well, me. they use different. Yeah, maybe they have different techniques, but the, the final thing is the same. Really? I don't care. Yeah. That's encouraging. It's very difficult to tell with curly hair if you got it perfectly, but you, as you can see, that it's good now. So now what I'm going to do is kind of, you know, make sure it's blended in with the rest of her hair, I guess. Honestly, I don't advise you to cut your own hair or like your friend's hair if you've never done it before. But also, you should do it because it's really fun. A straight cut, it's not so difficult. Yeah, especially if you have straight hair, it's yeah. much easier. With curly yeah. hair, it's a bit more challenging. And the layers are a bit difficult. Actually, layers are the fun part. The thing about curly hair is really difficult to cut because the ends keep rolling up. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what I like to do is just let it do its thing and I just cut off the ends. I don't know that's like the way professionals do it, but they do very fast and tuk, 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 oh, it's ten <laughs> minutes for it up. It, it, it's not always the professionals okay. make perfect my Sometimes I go come back to my home and yeah. I see <laughs> some not a good <laughs> really. Was there ever a time where you got like a really bad haircut? Um, From a yeah, yeah, of course. It was in Collier Street. The Russian woman. <laughs> the Russian it was really, really bad. No layers at all. Not good uh, shape. No good fun. I mean. Oh no, good. Blowout. Blowout. But for the coloring, she was really good. She was so good in coloring. Oh, okay, so there's at least that. Yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna do exactly what I did on the other side here. A Turkish hairdresser are really amazing. Oh yeah. The cheap ones, the it's good too. Even the cheap Turkish yes, hairdressers. Are you good. cannot imagine. They are really talented. Yeah. Really. But they cut too much. Uh, they like to cut. They, they like to show off. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let me check the front. Not even, so I have to even it out. You know, even hairdressers, like professionals, don't get it even on the first try sometimes, because it's difficult to get it. 
Yeah. So they just fix it. But they don't tell you they did that. They just do it. Very of fast. Of course. So you don't notice, you know? Of course. Like, oh, okay, it's not even. We'll fix it. No and worries. They, they cut again and again and again. And then and so short. So short. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother, everybody. <laughs> He's a uh, self isolation time because he came from London uh, four days ago and now he's in isolation 14 days. Which nothing much changed in his life because he was already doing that. <laughs> <laughs> he's having fun. Oh yeah, now it's much more even. Perfect. I'm sorry, I'm giving you a second shower. No, no, it's good. Otherwise, the curly part, it won't be good. Well, I haven't even started layering it, y'all. This was just like the base. You want layers, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's so... It's gonna be more volume. So what I'm gonna do is very simple technique. I'm gonna take a section from the top back of her hair, right here, not too big. So what we're doing is combing it straight up, okay? And then you wanna decide what your shortest layer is gonna be. Now I'm not gonna go too extreme. I'm gonna cut about that much. I don't know if you can see, like, maybe like three fingers. Three fingers? For the layer. Okay. Yeah, chop almost. Yeah, so it's just a little bit. And you want to cut that straight off in a straight line, like horizontal. Okay. Okay. That's our guide. We're going to use that guide to put in some layers. So now we take this huge chunk. And let me turn you to your side so that you can see what I'm doing. So I took that chunk, comb it out. And right there is my guide, and you can't see what I'm doing because we're off of the frame. That's great. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have long hair, did you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I see my guide right there, and I cut to my guide. I don't know if you saw that, but that's what happened. <laughs> Maybe don't do this at home. <laughs> I'm not explaining it very well. If some pieces drop, that's perfect. That means you've done it right. And anything that sticks out here, like really sticks out, you can cut off. We're gonna do the same thing here. From the back right this time, I'm gonna take a chunk. I think Paula is bored, so she's gonna reappear <laughs> from the wild. Yeah, <laughs> she's back. Come on. No, she's gone. She just went to the kitchen to I'm ask cook something. What? I need you soon. Oh yeah? Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, okay. So again, I'm combing it straight back. And you see your guide, if you can see it. If you can't, keep combing. <laughs> okay, it's right there. And I want to cut all the rest of the hair to that same length. So you remember this top bit that I got from the back? So we want to connect that to the front. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit of hair, kind of like we're making like a tiny mohawk area. Paula, stop making noise. Noise. Stop making noise! I'm sorry. You wanna comb that straight up and whatever falls out, let it fall out. Those are like the front layers, so those are fine. What you wanna do is connect that back layer that we did right here. You see that? Can you see it? You can't, your hair's too long. Okay, now we're ready for the questions. Okay. And what you want to do is like comb it back, like comb it forward like this. When you comb it forward. Okay, can I? Oh. 
you see we want to get kind of connect that is this all the, the entire list of questions yeah there aren't too many i asked like just this morning so people didn't have a chance to ask this was an impromptu haircut okay so first one i think you are all living together i mean your mother maybe your brother and your girlfriend if so how about your relations with each other especially between your mother and your girlfriend can we talk about a kind of friendship please let us know about daily relations with each other hmm. great question good question yes yeah. you want to answer actually we are um sim similar yes. age yeah we are like a friend yeah it's not like you know like very very young you know yeah uh, teenage or something <laughs> relationship it's a grown-up relationship uh, we, we have respect each other we always respect each other even we are walking using things everything it's like a slow dance or uh, one by one so like taking turns using stuff in the yeah, kitchen yeah, and yeah. the bathroom yeah. Oh, and yeah. uh, we have respect, we have love each other because she's nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not too hard. I love people. I can live uh, in crowded places. I'm very, you know, homogene uh, personality. You know, Sadie, we have always five people, six people in one house. Yeah, we've always been like a refugee camp thing. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, we had like a two bedroom and we were living like five people for a couple of months, right? Yeah, for a couple of yeah. months. My yeah. cousins. Yeah. Daisy is the best ever, okay? It's the best person to have around ever because she's super social and uh, she's always super happy. As soon as we put some music, you see her dancing That's and true. that, uh, rub, you know, it rubs off on us and we are all dancing. I'm cooking in the kitchen, I'm dancing. Uh, Sadie is doing some exercise, she's dancing, everybody's dancing. So she's very uh, like a sunshine all the oh, time. Oh no, I, I'm so shy now. No, no, no. But it's true, I mean, I couldn't, I mean, I'm very lucky and uh, she's very open minded. So we felt that uh, we could uh, communicate on the same level all the time. So, so that's our relationship pretty much. Um, um, so now I'm just connecting like the mohawk with these layers. I don't think you're following, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I think they can follow my tutorial. I, my, her brother is also a um, good boy. He never interrupts us or... He's always in his room. He's, yeah. yeah. My brother is actually five years younger than me, but he's like, he looks and behaves older than me, so it's great. Yeah. He's very mature for his age. Yeah. He's very objective. He sees everything in a very objective way, never emotionally... Rational. Yes. Very yeah, rationally. Yeah, like that. So next question. Did, she wor did you worry about Sadie when she told you that your girlfriend was uh, way older than her? I have always, uh, not worry, but in the end, one of them, they're gonna be upset, but it's life. It's not worry, it's, you know, because age gap, they cannot be uh, forever, but who, who are forever together? Mm. Yeah. Nowadays. 90% of marriages end in divorce. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not worried or nothing because they give each other uh, nice things. They have, uh, she has apples, she has oranges. They, they always change <laughs> to each other and they teach or they learn from each other. It's good. They are happy. They love each other. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely it's okay. Uh, happiness is the final thing they are happy i'm happy what's your heritage uh, i know you are turkish but i mean ancestry 500 years ago we uh, immigrate from spain to turkey not turkey actually ottoman empire because we are spanish jewish uh, people and ottoman empire uh, took us from there her father 
is from Seleniki. Seleniki? I mean, Greece. Greece? Yeah, Seleniki. Nowadays is in Greece. Really? Nowadays is in Greece. Oh, I didn't Those know. Those days were in Ontario. Ottoman Empire. Okay, yes. Dear Sidin P, hope all your all well. Sidi, I love your mother's smile so much. It's so pure and innocent. She's very <laughs> cute also. My question to her is that though she lives with you happily now, does she miss her motherland too often? Sure. How she cope up with the situation and and how does she deal with your depression at present? I miss a lot. I love my country, my motherland. Actually, here is my country too. I feel this is home too. <laughs> Not always. Not all the time. <laughs> in the winter, no. <laughs> but in the summer, it's nice. It's really nice here. Of course, I miss. I miss my language. I miss my sense of humor, people. It's so different. It's a huge uh, subject to talk about. But of course, I miss. I miss a lot. Okay, we don't have any questions anymore. Oh, good, because the haircut's over too. <laughs> okay, thank you for your assistance. <laughs> oh, man, it's so beautiful. It's a shame. You like it? I'm excited. Okay. It's a cold. Look at me. It's so beautiful. Okay, go try it. Go try it. Okay, and here is your final. Do you see people? You like How it? beautiful it is! I love it! It's beautiful, you see? Turn around and show from the back as well. Go. And there's the back. It's nice. But it's nice. Because I use like this all okay. the time. You like and it? I love it. Look, look. Next time, one month later, you can cut it a little bit and more layers. Yeah, I think time. it yeah. came out good. I didn't describe what I did very well, so I'm gonna put a um, like a professional tutorial. I'll put the professional link in the description. If you want to give yourself a haircut, don't listen to what I'm saying because I'm not describing it very well, but I tried. Thank you, baby. Thank <laughs> You're you so welcome. much. And thank bye you for bye. the video. Yeah. Are you showing my yeah. hair still? Yeah. Just show it, yeah. Is it enough? Yes. Thanks. Do you like it? Good. I love it. What do you think about my white hair? Is it too ugly or it's okay? Is it I too like much? It. She's been growing out her white hair since yeah. like almost like six months now, right? No, it's one year. That's it. Bye bye. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. I loved it. You did a very good job. Thank you. What a meeting. She's working hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.